<laughs> I found some very nice stuff in the 2008 briefcase, which meant small toys, and here's a little collection of them. Here's the first one. It's a packet of um, tissues. The company is called Sniff. That's a nice name for a company who made them. But the contents are more fun because they are ordinary little tissues. But they've got a nice little bit of blurb on it, which I want to show you. Well, it's just repeated itself. But I'll bring it up with the camera and see if you can read it. Come back to the Walls Sneeze Journal. And then there's... There we are. Can you read that? Yes. It's a bit of fun. And then it's repeated many times over. Um, but it's a, it's a nice item and it comes in a little package like that. So never used it, I have to say. I don't like them using non-tissues which have got something more informative in it. But there we are. I'll put it back again and show it for another time. So that was one. There's a very, very neat little thing here which I completely overlooked. I need to put battery in it too. It's for the finger, tip of the finger, for cyclists or something, or pick your nose. It's a very strong little torch. It's got a little Velcro piece to hold it like that. When you push here, look at this light. My goodness. Oh my goodness me. Second mode is a slow flasher. Third mode is a steady light. It's very, very, look at that blue on my hand. My goodness. And the last one is the off switch. So four settings, flashing, fast, flash, flashing slow, steady beam, and off. And fits neatly onto the finger with a bit of Velcro to hold it. There we are, Velcro piece. Very, very neatly done. So that was a good thing to put little batteries inside and find out what it was working. The third one is a bizarre thing. I thought it was a ballpoint pen, but it turned out to be one of those propelling pencils with tiny little lid, tiny little um, lead there. Let's just show what this thing's saying on the front so I can see how it's this way up like this. That's right. What's clever about this is not the pen itself, it's it, it's the um it's actually the the clip itself. So it's uh, advertising for, I don't know, some magician perhaps, but the clip itself is extraordinary. There's no clip in it to be able to put on the, on the, on the pocket. What you do is you bend the whole pen like that, as you would a clothes peg, that bit there, bends out like that. It's got a junction point here which allows it to flex, and that will now slip onto where my finger is, in, onto, the, on, onto, onto the pocket of your, your breast pocket of your jacket or your shirt or something like that. So a bizarre type of clip, and it closes up like that too. So a very original ballpoint pen clip. Never seen that before. The third one is, uh, I think I've got to run on the table here. It's a little car. I'm going to show it in detail because it's quite nicely made, actually. You've got a little surprise when it goes. It's, it's not motorized or anything. It just has to bump against something and then it, it springs. So I'll bump it against my hand. Oh, pops open and it bursts into flames. Well, sort of. It's actually all plastic. The whole thing is plastic, of course. And there's a supposed to be plastic flames. So it's burst into flames which are inside the car. Well, that's quite a sweet little thing. And then as you do that, action like that, that's pushing against a spring and it clicks and it's ready to perform again. So good one. Now. The third, last one is a very neat little thing which I completely overlooked and never tried actually. I put it in a book, so it's something you need to have with a book. Uh, I put it in one of my books, which is called Eccentric Contraptions, which I know, all like those things. But this thing here, which I want to show you, is um, a bookmark, except it's got something else to it. Look at that. Have you ever seen that before? What this is, can you guess? Let me just show it right up the camera, see if you can anticipate what I'm going to do to make it work. <sighs> it's actually a bookmark to hold the pages open with your thumb. That's the idea. So if I hold this book down a bit, and open the book to some page or other. Hold it like that. Look how comfortable it is to hold there. If I had a grubby thumb, which I shouldn't have grubby thumbs, but I wouldn't be making any mark on the page of the book because it would be held open. And you turn over the next page, it'll hold it nice and firmly. Very, very sweet little idea, that. A, they call it a thumb thing. A thumb thing, they call it. So, something I've never seen before. Never actually tried it. Double purpose. Bookmark plus a thumb thing to hold the pages open. Mm, and to see you through. Do you like it? <laughs> <laughs>